Work has been done in the following fields of the Genexus X Evolution 2 web generator. Security, performance, one-click prototyping in the cloud, and user experience. To either add new functionalities or enhance the existing ones, so as to continue advancing along with the new specifications and standards of each field. Let's start with security. A security module called GAM, Genexus Access Manager, that is included in our application, was developed to solve authentication and authorization problems in both web and smart device applications with Genexus. To learn more about the GAM's details, we invite you to watch the corresponding video. Prototyping in the cloud. This is done simply by configuring the deploy to cloud property with the value yes. When the application is generated, the GX technical credentials are requested in order to install it in the cloud. By default, the apps 2 genexusx.com server is used in the Amazon cloud and is available specially for prototyping Genexus applications. One of the main features that Genexus X Evolution 2 offers is the generation of web applications pursuant to the W3C, World Wide Web Consortium Standards, HTML5, and CSS3. Valid pages for these standards are obtained by passing the pages through a tool that determines whether the page is valid or not, according to specific criteria. Once the page has been validated, the validity icon may be included in it as an indicator of the validation. So how does Genexus enable web applications to benefit from these advantages? This can be achieved by simply configuring a property. In order to generate our application with HTML5, we must configure the property at the environment HTML document type level with the HTML5 value. For new KBs created with Genexus X Evolution 2, this property includes that value as default. However, this is not the case for KBs converted from previous versions. After this property is configured with the HTML5 value, all web screens will be generated applying the standard. In addition to the above, the web code generated will benefit from several of the advantages offered by this new standard, such as the generation of fewer JScripts in HTML, and what concerns the application's performance reduces the size of the pages generated. In relation to user experience, it enables the use of semantic domains, it improves the view of web applications executed on smart devices, work has been done on a new theme in Genexus that makes good use of the advantages of HTML5 and CSS3, and there is an improved integration of Genexus designers and developers with the import and export of CSS, and much, much more. But now let's look at each of them in more detail. We should start by making reference to the optimization of HTML traffic. As we mentioned previously, the size of pages generated has been reduced substantially, so this implies a significant improvement to performance. This, along with optimizations at the server level, where the paging of grids and data providers was implemented in the database server, leads to smaller and lighter pages. As a matter of fact, we could mention that our test showed pages with sizes reduced by 25%, meaning execution times 30% faster. Now let's look at the issues relative to user experience. Using HTML5 brings along a number of new elements, including the possibility of using semantic domains. Some of the standard domains in Genexus imply special semantics that generate specific behaviors of the fields based on such domains. So, which are these new semantic domains? Address, geolocation, URL, email, and phone. Now here's how they work. We'll take the web section of an application for a real estate office, where we define the property transaction to record the properties for sale or for lease. We define the attributes property address and property geolocation to show the address and the coordinates for the property's geolocation. Then, after applying the work with pattern to the transaction, we may execute the property's work with.
we can see that the property address field automatically has a link that opens Google Maps to show the address. It works in the same way for the fields defined as geolocation. Regarding the application's design, work has been done on a new theme in Genexus to benefit from the advantages offered by HTML5 and CSS3. Also, several of the properties appearing as standard in CSS3 appear as new properties in the Genexus themes. So let's take a look at this new theme and its advantages in the running application. The first thing we see is that the theme of the application is the Genexus X Evolution 2 default theme. Here we can see that the default theme is more modern. At the theme level, the configuration prevents links from appearing underlined outside the grid, such as the recent links and the shadow appearing in the titles. Also, if we enter one of the records in the update mode, we will see the rounded buttons thanks to the use of CSS3. These functionalities can be seen in the newer browsers, so a possible question is to wonder what happens to the browsers of previous versions. If they do not support CSS3 or HTML5, they will continue to be viewed as before. That is to say, nothing new will be seen. There's also the possibility of configuring the theme in runtime using the set theme function. The reasons for offering more than one theme in a web application include the need to consider a variety of options and to consider a person's special needs, such as elderly people wanting to use larger scale fonts. It is also possible to add new fonts in Genexus to use them as regular Genexus fonts. This enables the use of more creative fonts directly on the application, whereas images had to be used before. To add a new font, we must first open the Genexus X Evolution 2 theme and go to the font node, right click, add font. Once added, the font may be used as a standard Genexus font. For instance, we can assign it to any text we may have in the application. In this case, we will change the font type for the master page's title and assign it the recently added font.